so we're going to kick off now with our Keats Awards. Uh, these are awards that we're going to give to pupils in our year group for showing fantastic uh, kindness, effort, aspiration, tenacity and success over the last term while we've been working from home. Um, I think it goes without saying that anybody that has been nominated for one of these awards or anybody that wins one of these awards ha has really you know, exemplified what it means to be a great AJK pupil. Um, they have shown this characteristic and they have they have done that consistently and to a really, really high standards. So they deserve to be celebrated for the, the great work that they've done. We're going to start off with kindness um, and we have nine nominations of one from each tutor group. So we've got Arda, Dylan, Shaquille, Greta, Dennis, Sahela, Leanne, Bettel and Alessio. Now, the person that has won the Kindness Award um, has won this not just because of the kindness shown towards members of staff and towards other pupils when they've been coming in for their lessons. This pupil has also showed fantastic kindness at home during the lockdown, taking on a lot of responsibility in supporting his family and um, helping to look after certain family members, uh, showing responsibility around the house, cooking meals for his mum, who, who's a key worker, um, and, and also just making sure that they were getting all of their work done and being really, really successful while they're at home. So the winner for our kindness award uh, at the end of this year is Dennis in the Netherlands. So a big congratulations to him, a big well done for the responsibility and the maturity and the kindness that you've showed. That then takes us on to our effort award. Um, the pupils that have been nominated are Zeynep, Hatije, Angela, Gabriel, Nahir, Zakia, Yasmin, Salma and Pauline. Now, the winner of this award has worked incredibly hard across not just the lockdown, but the whole year to routinely produce work of an absolutely outstanding quality. Uh, their insightful responses to the BLM character sessions were really, really detailed, really well thought through um, and an absolute testament to the effort that they put into every task that they complete. Um, it, it is absolutely fantastic to see the work that they produced and also have conversations with them around why they've produced the notes that they produced for some of the character sessions. Um, but they should be really, really proud for the work and the effort that they put in over over the last few months. Uh, the winner for the Effort Award is Zainab in Mexico. So big congratulations to her, as well as a big congratulations to all those that were nominated. Well done. Up next, we have our nominees and our winner for the Aspiration Award. Um, those pupils that have thought really, really carefully about how their work now is going to affect them in the future, um, who have looked into universities, colleges, sixth forms, etc., um, and, and really taken a lot of responsibility for their future careers. Our nominations are Anatola, Laura, Lilith, Shilan, Lucas, Maddie, Beza, Midam, and Alina. And the winner of this award has used their time incredibly well during lockdown. Um, not only have they completed all of their work to the highest of standards, but they've also used the time to focus on their future academic aspirations. Uh, their in-depth research into different universities uh, has taken into account um, course quality, location, other factors as well that show an absolute, an absolute level of maturity that is going to take this pupil as far as they can possibly go. Um, to be thinking about these kinds of things now in year 10, shows a great understanding of how the education system works, but also a great understanding of where they want to go and what they want to do and why they want to do it. Um, I know that this pupil is going to do exceptionally well in their future um, and this research is going to help with that. So a massive congratulations, not just to the nominees, but to our winner, who is Lilith in Zambia. Well done, Lilith. Moving swiftly on then to our Tenacity Award for those pupils that have been working exceptionally hard throughout the lockdown. Our nominees are Samaya, Aisha, Hodan, Ahmed, Amina, Davina, Lanya, Nana and Jaden. And the winner of this award has made fantastic progress over the course of the lockdown period um, in how they've managed their work and their time. Um, and they haven't had the easiest lockdown. Um, they had to move house halfway through uh, and, and organise all of that while also getting all of their work done. 
but in their recent lessons they've tried really hard they've been coming into school every single day to get those lessons done um, to make sure that they can pass their English and their maths um, and do really well in their science as well um, catching up on on work that, that they needed that they needed to um, and making sure that they're in a really positive position going into year 11 it's going to set set them up really really well um, and I'm really looking forward to seeing how the effort and the tenacity now pays off when we get to year 11. Uh, again, massive congratulations to all our nominees and to our winner, who is Lanya in Vietnam. So well done, Lanya. Keep up the good work. Our last award in this uh, in these categories is going to be for success. Um, there are a lot of nominations for this uh, for, for quite similar reasons. Um, our nominees are Zaid, Theo, Jem, Abdul, Rifa, Joe, Hadefa, Adam and Carol. Now, a lot of these people here have had massive amounts of success over the lockdown. They've spent their time getting their work done. Um, I've seen some fantastic notes from these pupils. I've seen the work that they've done. I've seen their scores on Seneca. Um, I, I've, I've been really, really impressed with how well they've done. But the winner of this award um, goes to somebody that not only has thrived during lockdown, uh, got all of their work done, created some of the greatest notes that I've ever seen in my life, um, that has uh, this this person has put those notes into a binder um, in order of importance in order of subject um, in clear plastic wallets so that it's well organized um, this pupil you know has um, used his knowledge of the school timetable to set up provision slots in between each of his assessments as well and the practice meant that they approached every online exam feeling focused prepared to demonstrate their full potential um, they've also developed their communication and technology skills over the period, uh, regularly emailing their tutor, their teachers and their peers for feedback and response, which is fantastic to see. Um, but really the reason why this, this person has won the, the award um, comes down to the fact that not only have they got all their work done, they've also completed an entire GCSE during the lockdown um, and got all of those GCSE exams done. Uh, in order to be as successful as possible. Um, that was in, in the Greek language um, and our winner is Theo in Kenya. So massive congratulations, Theo. You, you've been an absolute star. Um, I hope you continue that success into year 11. We're going to head over to the rest of your tutors now um, for their messages to the tutor groups. So we're going to have Netherlands, Chile, Spain, Vietnam and Singapore. Hello, it's Miss Basulo here. I just want to say to the Netherlands, I'm so proud of how you've coped during lockdown. Not only have you produced some excellent work, which I'm going to show you some pictures of in a moment, but loads of you have helped to look after younger siblings and helped them with their home learning. Loads of your parents are key workers themselves and you've helped out by cleaning around the house and cooking the meals. Some of you have taught yourself new skills such as skateboarding and then so many of you have been using this time to think about what you want to do in the future. I'm sad that we've had a bizarre end to year 10 and I'm particularly sad that we didn't get to have our final sports day together because I know so many of you will have um, worked so hard to break some records just like Europe did last year. And finally I just want to finish off by celebrating some of the amazing work that I've seen you guys produce over lockdown. So here's some fantastic English work, some excellent maths work. We've got some science, French and art. We've got some more option subjects here. And then we've got some great reflections on character. This is gonna set you up so well for next year and I can't wait to see you all properly in year 11 and to work with you to hopefully get the best GCSEs possible so you can go on and be the brilliant adults that I know you are going to be. Hi Julie, it's Miss Smith here. Can't quite believe it's approaching the end of the year, but I feel like we're all very ready for a holiday. And I hope you have an incredible summer because you absolutely deserve it. You've worked so hard and um, so many of you have have shown real resilience and strength during this time and I'm, for that I'm really proud of you. Um, just take care and have an incredible summer. I will see you in September.
Hi, Spain. Um, I thought it was appropriate if a little bit silly to be played in by the Spanish national anthem, because that's something that Spaniards are really proud of. And we should all be really, really proud of where we've got to as Spaniards. Um, your progress since year seven has been incredible. I know the last four months have been really weird, but speaking to you all through them and, and supporting you with your work and checking in with how you're doing and the responsibility you're taking with your families, I've really been struck by how we now feel like year 11. We have a year to go until you've finished your secondary education and are thinking about key stage five. And that year is big and that year is important. We are going to work incredibly hard, but it's really important that over the summer you relax and enjoy yourselves. So have a wonderful summer. Enjoy yourselves. Do your summer home learning packs. And I look forward to seeing you all in September. Hi, Vietnam. Just a quick message from me to say well done for getting through what is undoubtedly one of the strangest and hardest periods in the whole of human history. I hope that you can go now and have a lovely summer and remember to say well done to yourself for getting through this strange time. I think it's really easy when we're looking on social media and we're seeing all of these amazing things that people have achieved, like learning new languages and new sports, to beat ourselves up and think that we should have used the time that we've had in lockdown to be more productive. But I don't want you to do that at all. You need to remember that it's been a really pressurised and difficult time and just to get through it and be happy and healthy is a big achievement. So well done to all of you. I've missed every single one of you loads. Uh, being in lockdown has made me realise what an important part of, your, of my day being with you is and how much I enjoy our time together in character, in prep and at lunch. Um, and yeah, I've really missed you. So I can't wait to come back in year 11 and see you continue to become the amazing, incredible, mature and interesting young adults that you are turning into. So go have a lovely break and remember that we're all thinking about you here and we can't wait to see you back in September. Hello Singapore. It has been a huge pleasure to be your form tutor this year. We have had a very successful year as a year group and although we have had a few hurdles along the way, I believe that we will show great tenacity and start to our final year as a tutor group very, very strongly. I hope you all have a very restful and wonderful summer holiday. I look forward to seeing you all back in September. See you all then.